Hi, I'm Cassidy Newberry and I'm in Mass Media and you're watching Travel Review. Welcome to Travel Review. More snow brought yet another snow day. I'll have the updated last day of school coming up. Also in the broadcast, you'll learn more about the Skills USA competition. All this and more coming up on Travel Review. At Big Frog, you can set up your online pop-up shop full of custom apparel. You can design a whole line of apparel, select your sale price, and customize how long your pop-up shop lasts. Visit our store at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Independence, to set up your pop-up shop today. Come to Toscano's to get your pizza customized the way you want, served to you right from our wood fire stove. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey Fort Sage High School, I'm Kelsey Stobart. February is National Bird Feeder Month, so don't forget to fill your bird feeders. And I'm Zach Erickson. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, 2019, and here are your top school news stories. The additional snow days prompted another snow day. This marks the ninth snow day the district has taken. The district will add another day to the end of the school year and is adding April 19th as an early dismissal school day. That was originally scheduled as a non-school day. The last day of school will now be May 29th and will be a half day. Five Florida State High School students placed at the Skills USA District Competition recently. Lance Belkep took second place in job skill demo. Cale Bellamy also finished second place in computer repair tech. Max Meyer scored a second in action skills along with Michael Miller's second place finish in extemporary speaking. And Katana Co Cox finished second in criminal justice, tech, info, and technical spending. With the completion of the Skills USA Districts, Ileana Rosario caught up with some of the school's competitors. CTC students competed at the Skills USA Districts February 2nd. Jenna Jones prepared for the competition by writing down everything she needed to memorize. My skill is inserting airways and I practice by writing everything that I need to do on the whiteboard a lot and then we practice on dummies and then I also insert them into people who are not breathing. Skills USA was made to empower its members to become world-class workers, leaders, and responsible Americans. Riley Rexford feels that Skills USA made firefighting skills easier. Uh, we've came in after class and worked on skill, um, like our firefighter skills and that kind of stuff. I've heard that it's like the state test for um, the fire certification, so I thought it'd be a good practice for that. Skills USA has personal, technical, and workplace skills. Katana Cox practiced two times a week to prepare. My skill is CSI in prepared speech, and I prepared for that by practicing every Monday and Tuesday and running through my speech in my head. Skills USA has more than 300,000 students and advisors reporting for Travel Review. This is Ileana Rosario. Thanks, Ileana. Next, we have a profile story over Jager Worth. Stay online with us. We'll have more after this break. Culver's wants to welcome you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of concretes, chicken strips, and crinkle cut fries that are said to be a butter burger's best friend. These meals and more will be prepared by Culver's welcoming staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time since 1984. Come in or carry out and let them serve you your next delicious meal. Welcome back. Jager Worth is one of the talented students at the high school. He is also the president of the Gay Straight Alliance and Tribal Review's Asher Haller caught up with Jager to provide this profile. Jager is a singer and musician at Fort Osage High School. He finds music to be his best escape from reality. Music to me is an escape from uh, reality. It helps me drown out everything else in the world and lets me focus on the things I need to do. It's kind of a stress reliever. Emmy is one of Jager's many friends. She believes music makes the classroom feel like a family. It, it's not like more of an energy, it's just more of like it feels like a family, almost. 
Annalisa loves spending time with Jager. She feels that their best memories are in theater. I have so many memories with Jager. I have like a lot, but my most favorite ones are when, when uh, we're in acting class and we just have fun acting together. Cause like I have so many favorite memories with Jager. <laughs> But especially when we're in acting class, I really love those memories because I, because like when we act together, it's just like really fun. Jagger will continue to play guitar and sing. I'm Asher Holler reporting for Travel Review. Thanks for that profile. Asher now joins us with this week's sports report. Hey Asher, I hear history was made at the state wrestling tournament. That's right. I'll have more results from the recent Indians athletic events on the other side of this break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Mariner Collision is an excellent place to get any dents, scratches, or total cars fixed like new in a timely manner. The Carinders take pride in all work with every car, every time. Get your car repaired at Carinder Collision located at 440 East Monroe Street, Buckner, Missouri. Hey everybody, I'm Asher Holler with your Indian Sports Report. The boys and girls varsity wrestling team competed at state championships February 14th, 15th, and 16th. AJ Sanchez took 6th in the 145 weight class. Tess Kinney became the area's first all-state medalist when she took 4th in the first Misha girls state tournament at the 136th pound weight class. The girls varsity basketball team went 1-3 to three over the last 7 days. The girls lost to North Kansas City 64-21 to on February 14th and then lost to Belton 45-36 to on February 18th. But they bounced back for a 60-47 to victory over the Oak Park Senior Night. Kylie Flowers scored 24 points to lead the Indians, including this nice coast-to-coast -coast layup in the third period. The team is now 11-13 and 13 on the season and will begin district play on February 25th against Liberty North at North Kansas City High School. The boys' varsity basketball team improved their record with two recent wins. They beat Belton 56-47 on February 18th and defeated Oak Park 65-57 February 19th on senior night. Jared Larson led the team with 19 points all on three-pointers like this one from the outside that helped spark the Indians offense. They are now 19-4 and four on the season and start district play against Liberty North on February 28th at North Kansas City High School. That's it for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Asher Holler. Kelsey and Zach will be back for more news after the break. Travel Perk open Monday through Friday in the Media Center between 4th and 5th hour. We're at the concession stands before school. They have everything ranging from 50 cents to a dollar. They have tea, hot chocolate, coffee, and apple cider. Come to Travel Perk. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Haley Pugh went around the school to see what additional classes students would add. I wanted to find out what class you guys would add to this school, so I asked. A chicken nugget class where you get to make and eat chicken nuggets because I love chicken nuggets. If I had to add any class to this school, it would be American Sign Language, and that way we could communicate with more people because the deaf community is very, like, isolated from the rest of us. I would add a road trip class because, you know, it's fun to get out of school and do things. Um, probably a sign language class because there are some students that can't communicate and it would be a lot easier for them if we could just communicate the way they can. A traveling class because I like to travel. Uh, some class has to do with basketball just because I like basketball and I play it a lot. I would honestly choose uh, like a pet class because it would be cool um, hanging, uh, hanging out with pets. Uh. Class because people come to school tired. Um, another doctor class because 
there shouldn't be only one at the CTC. Probably like a class where they teach you real life things like how to write a check because after high school if you don't know how to write a check or you don't know how to like take money out of the bank you're gonna need that or else you can't get money or you can't write a check to anybody. If I could add a class to the school it would be a dance class. I'm Haley Pugh reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks, Haley. I would probably add a vet tech class. I'd add a movie watching class. The high school will be hosting a rising ninth grade parent night on February 26, 2019, from 6 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. This is an open house event for current eighth grade students and families to meet ninth grade teachers, principal, counselor, coaches, and learn about the classes, sports, clubs, and activities at the high school. For more information, visit tinyurl.com slash y8x3sugc. Spring sports starts no Monday, February 25th. Any students wanting to try out for spring sports must have a mixture of sports physical dated after February 1st, 2018 turned into the office before they will be allowed to participate. The Misha physical form paperwork can be found at the High School Athletic and Activities webpage or in the high school's office. If you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for this week's Travel Review. I'm Kelsey Stobart. And I'm Zach Erickson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.